gentle readers, as you can see, this is our first video missive, and you are on the road right now with the Zanetti for Governor campaign. We have Greg Graves, the campaign manager, who's driving. My son, Daniel, is actually doing the videography here. We are traveling from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Yes, for those of you who do not live in New Mexico, Truth or Consequences is the name of a real city, heading down to Las Cruces. So I've been sitting here in the back, alternating between sleeping, reading, and taking notes about the campaign. But let's talk about what's going on in the economy, especially with what we know President Obama has proposed, which is we are going to try to accelerate through this recession. By that I mean we are going to print probably in the neighborhood of two to three trillion dollars. And to give you an idea of how much a trillion dollars is, if we were to stack $100 bills, as you all know, a $100 bill is still real money, you start to stack them. The stack to go to one trillion would be 789 miles high. That's one trillion dollars. Now, if we think we can do this without consequence to the currency, without consequence to the dollar, we're probably not thinking clearly. And here now we're going to refer back to the work of actually a brilliant economist from San Francisco University. His name is Anatol Fekini. And he's done a very interesting study that I think you'll find interesting as to whether or not President Obama's plan can work. And it has to do with something called the marginal productivity of debt. And now, don't glaze over on me. Here's basically what it means. Back in the 1950s, for every $1 of debt we took out, we got three additional dollars of growth in the economy, GDP growth. So it makes perfect sense because if you took a dollar of debt in the 50s, that debt went toward building factories or mills or farming, but it was productive wealth creation. Well, you all know what happened in this country. We started to morph from a manufacturing society over to a service economy. Well, by the 1970s, what had happened is for every $1 in additional debt, suddenly we weren't getting $3 of growth in the economy, we were getting $1 of growth in the economy, one for one exchange. And then it started to go the other way. For every $1 of debt, we were only getting 50 cents worth of growth, but at least there was still some growth. Well, what happened? was in late 2006, we had a watershed event. For the first time ever, for a dollar's worth of debt, we were getting negative growth. You were getting a subtraction in the economy. And this is what we have seen since. So now, let's go to President Obama's plan. We're going to add two trillion dollars worth of debt in this next year to stimulate, stimulate our way through the economy. But let's think this through. If for every new dollar of debt, we're now eating into the economy, how can this be occurring? Well, the reason again is simple. We are not using this debt to make productive enterprises. We are using this debt for more consumption. And this is what you hear him saying. We need, we're a consumption nation. We have to get people to consume. But consumption does not lead to wealth. You cannot consume your way to wealth. You can't spend your way to wealth. You can't borrow your way to wealth. And so what happens is we are now eating into the wealth of the nation that was built up all those years previous. And that's likely why this plan of President Obama is not going to work. We're eating the seed corn of the nation. So until next week, or maybe we'll try another video missive. This is Greg Zanetti signing off from the Zanetti campaign. Hasta luego.